well aware it is Thanksgiving week and all of the events that surround Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, etc., etc. If you're like me, you've gotten about 650 emails that say 20% off on, you know, whatever, 15% off, 30% off. I would say to be very careful. Um, there's a lot of impulse buying that goes on this time of year because of deals. Uh, a lot of gear being bought that you don't really need. <clears throat> I, I've literally bought pedals I'd never even heard of just because I knew nothing about them just because I, th I thought they were a pretty good deal. So I am being very careful this year to um, fight the urge to buy stuff just because it's on sale. Now, <clears throat> that said, some pretty bitching sales going on this weekend and um, yeah, I'll probably end up buying some things that I actually need, okay? Don't get it twisted. So all I would say is buyer beware, be careful out there, uh, especially on the internet. These sales are generally not that great and uh, unless you get a smoking deal on something, don't even just move on. By the way, SNS is this weekend, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, another event that took place was Record Store Day Black Friday. And if you've been watching the vlog, you know that this is an event that I am not going to miss. Um, and I did not miss it. So I will quickly go through the records that I bought and um, show them to you guys, uh, give some brief commentary on what I think about it. First, boom, David Bowie's Let's Dance. Guess what? Stevie Ray Vaughan, Niles Rogers. Niles, Niles, Niles Rogers are the guitar players on this. Uh, Mr. Rogers is super funky, and Stevie, well, really needs no, I mean, there's nothing I can really say about that. This is a killer album. Uh, <clears throat> for Bowie being interested in blues at the time, this is not a blues record. Cool, cool record, though. Boom. Django Reinhardt. Oh, smoke and... This is uh, <clears throat> like a little compilation, 35 through 39. If you're not really familiar with Django, he's a beast and he has a couple fingers fused together um, due to a caravan fire. Um, so, pretty amazing uh, guitar player. Gypsy Jazz, if you're not familiar with that. Uh, now the recordings are gonna not be real high fidelity because that happened a long time ago. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Luther Allison, Luther Allison's Bl Luther Blues, I believe it's called. Luther's Blues, I believe this record is called. Yes. Um, <clears throat> though this is a good record, Luther's first record is the one that everyone's looking for, and um, that would include me. <clears throat> but this is a pretty solid record, good blues record. If you've never heard of Luther Allison, check him out. YouTube him, listen to some of his albums. Um, this dude is doesn't get near the credit that he deserves. He is, I mean, this is a na he is nasty. I mean, it, nasty. Luther Allison, find him, listen to it. Boom. The first Bob Marley and the Wailers. This isn't even Bob Marley and the Wailers. This is just the Wailers. This is burning. Um, this is such a cool album. 
uh, get up stand up and a uh, roster man jam. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here uh, that is really awesome. So check it out. This is this is you need to hear this. Last but not least, Soul Slabs. This is from Record Store Day last year. But it was still in the store, and I bought it. The, uh, a fella had all these awesome funky 45s, and he um, got them all, uh, his favorite ones, and got them all and put them on a 2LP collection. And this is called Soul Slabs. This is, uh, there was 2,000 made. This is number 24. And it's, um, let me show you this. It is on nifty red vinyl very cool very cool and um, it is super funky uh, so soul slabs that's you need that but anyway it was a um, pretty uh, pretty cool day record store day black friday was okay seen some of my buddies um, but uh, we'll talk about some other things. Uh, yeah, let's move on. All right. So um, one thing I wanted to talk about today is stacking drive pedals. Uh, I'm going to be brief brief about this, but um, it's something I've been getting into quite a bit lately, and. I'm sure uh, last week you probably noticed that I put um, the Eric Johnson fuzz face on this board. Well, I took it off. What are you going to do? Um, and put my basic audio um, Scarab Deluxe and um, Tri-Ram Muff back on. This is a dual pedal that was made, um, that I got from, uh, specially made. And... Basically, um, it, it gives me two different muff sounds and uh, a kind of a tone bender sound. Now, the the triangle muff kind of gives me a little bit of a fuzz face sound, so it, it's allowing me to get away with <clears throat> with that right now. But the most important thing about this pedal is that it stacks so beautifully with the Zen drive. Basically, I can stack the Zen with any combination of the fuzz. And then there's a boost on the super trim that I can stack with either of those pedals. Or three at the same time. The point is, is all these pedals work beautifully together. The gain structures really work to um, actually sound really nice. And it allows me to get a kind of a um, nice presence in the mix. I generally keep a very uh, a dark tone and um, and then add some kind of uh, boosting mechanism that's a little brighter just to kind of pull me up in the mix when I'm soloing. So um, I will put some videos of rehearsal up and I will be using this board and you will see me stacking these pedals and hear me stacking these pedals. So um, stay tuned for that. <clears throat> I may also do a short little demo of the stack. On my other board I'm stacking with the um, Deep Trip BOG, the Peak Cornish G2, and the Love Pedal Chula, which is also a very good stack. Now I've tried to um, put some other pedals where this um, Zen Drive is. Uh, like I had the Purple Plexi there and it didn't really work so well. And some other things. Uh, I, I'm going to keep experimenting with that, but as of right now, this is um, really the perfect, the perfect stack for what I'm doing. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave a comment. Oh, come on, guys. Um, I got some uh, really cool stuff coming up. I know I keep saying that, but I really do. Um, Stay tuned. I'm getting into playing slide guitar again, so might do some uh, videos on that. 
which should be really cool. Also, I still have a bunch of green barefoot buttons that I haven't put on anything. I don't know. Does that matter? Uh, anyhow. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Let's move on with the video.
Thank <laughs> you.